fruits. They're nature's candy. But when you're watching your blood sugar levels, you might start to question everything you eat, including two of the most popular fruits, oranges and bananas. They're two of the sweetest fruits out there. So does that mean that they should be off limits? Today, we'll reveal if oranges and bananas are good or bad for diabetics. Which one may be better for you if you're worried about blood sugar control? We'll also look at a unique hidden factor of bananas which changes their nutritional content. Plus, we'll let you in on a secret truth behind the specialized healthy starch within one of these two fruits. Which one contains a type of starch which actually won't raise your blood sugar? Before we jump in, make sure to like this video and ring that notification bell. We'd love you to stay up to date with all our latest content. And make sure to subscribe to Diabetes Smarts for more help battling diabetes. Also, stick around to find out how you can get two free gifts on us. Welcome to the Diabetes Smarts Arena. Get ready for the main event. It's oranges versus bananas. Which is better for your blood sugar? First off, a quick reminder. Whole fruits can be a healthy choice for diabetics, but dried fruits and fruit juices are a different matter. Both dried fruit and juice have more concentrated sugar than whole fruit. Juice contains sugar spiking fructose, but little to no fiber content. That means it can send glucose levels skyrocketing within minutes. Orange juice specifically can be detrimental to diabetics and can even contribute to raising your risk for developing type 2 diabetes. However, let's not count out oranges just yet. Okay, let's get to the showdown. First up, keep your eyes peeled for bananas. Bananas are one of the most popular fruits on the planet. The average American consumes 28 pounds of bananas each year. That's more than grapes and apples combined. A medium-sized banana has around 105 calories, 27 grams of total carbohydrates, 14 grams of which are natural sugar, and 3 grams of which are beneficial fiber. Despite that sugar content, a ripe banana has a glycemic index of 51 and a glycemic load of 13. Foods which score under 55 on the glycemic index are considered to be low, and foods which score 11 to 19 for glycemic load are considered to be medium. So bananas are considered to be a medium to low glycemic food. But get this, for bananas, their ripeness can be a big factor for their sugar and nutrient content. Less ripe bananas tend to be more green in color, and they'll become more yellow as they ripen. A banana which is green and is still very firm has less sugar content and more resistant starch than a more ripe yellow banana. Resistant starch is different than typical starch, which will raise glucose levels. Resistant starch actually acts much like fiber. They are long chains of glucose which are resistant to digestion, so they can aid your body in better managing glucose levels. In addition to that benefit, resistant starch feeds the good bacteria within the gut microbiome. Having a healthy gut biome improves immunity, metabolic health, and blood sugar management. Studies have also shown that regularly consuming resistant starch may improve insulin sensitivity while fighting inflammation. If you don't like less ripe bananas but want to benefit from resistant starch, consider purchasing green banana powder mix and add it into other foods. Just be aware that cooking this powder will make it deteriorate. Luckily, we tend to eat bananas uncooked, so they're a great way to get that resistant starch. Of course, since green bananas have less sugar and more resistant starch, yellow or riper bananas will have more sugar and less resistant starch. How does this happen? As a banana ripens, its starch content is converted into simple sugars, glucose, fructose, and sucrose. With less resistant starch, you'll absorb more of those simple sugars. 
which is why fully ripe bananas can have a much higher glycemic index score than pale yellow or green firm bananas. Basically, a less ripe, greener banana will provide more benefit than a yellow, riper banana. And the more overly ripe the banana, the worse it will be for blood sugar control. The Nutrition of Bananas Of course, when you eat bananas, you're not only consuming carbohydrates and fiber, these fruits do come loaded with beneficial nutrients. Bananas contain various antioxidants and a healthy quantity of vitamin B6 and vitamin C. Low levels of vitamin B6 have been linked with an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, and decreased levels of this vitamin can also play a role in diabetic complications, like retinopathy and neuropathy. Therefore, regular consumption of vitamin B6 can aid in both reducing your risk of developing type 2 diabetes and can also help reduce your chances of developing diabetic retinopathy and neuropathy. Bananas are also an excellent source for beneficial minerals like magnesium and potassium. Adults are recommended to consume 3,500 milligrams of potassium daily, and the average size banana contains about 450 milligrams of potassium. This means eating one medium banana will give you about 9% of your recommended daily intake. Potassium is considered to be one of the most important minerals to include in your diet, as it aids muscle, bone, and nerve health. It's especially important for those managing diabetes, as it has the ability to lower blood pressure and can lower the risk of strokes. So now that we've unpeeled the info on bananas, you're probably wondering about those oranges. But not so fast. First, it's time to give you two free gifts. Discover other amazing diabetes fighting foods with superfoods for diabetics. Plus, uncover key insights from some of the world's leading medical professionals with episode one of that diabetes documentary. Your gifts are waiting for you right now. Simply click the link in the description below to grab both. And now, pucker up. It's time to bite into oranges. These citrus fruits originated in China. Nowadays, you can find many varieties of this sweet natural treat, from navel to mandarin to blood oranges, among others. Yes, oranges are super sweet. It's no wonder that drinking orange juice without that needed fiber can spike your blood sugar. Does that mean that eating an orange will affect your glucose levels in the same way? Not exactly. One medium-sized orange contains about 15 grams of total carbohydrates. 12 of which are natural sugar, but it also contains a respectable 3 grams of fiber, which will help your body manage the sugar load. Oranges carry a glycemic index score of 52, but a glycemic load of only 4.4. This means that, like bananas, they are considered a medium to low glycemic fruit. All told, one medium orange contains about 60 calories, zero fat, and one gram of protein which means this fruit can be a healthy snacking option, even for diabetics. In fact, the American Diabetes Association lists oranges as a diabetes superfood. The Nutrition of Oranges When you think of the nutrition inside oranges, chances are the first thing that comes to mind is vitamin C. And guess what? The vitamin C hype is real. Eating just one medium to small sized orange a day gives you almost 80% of your daily recommended vitamin C. A larger orange should give you well over 100% of your recommended daily intake for vitamin C. Vitamin C can protect against cancerous oxidative stress, lower the risk of heart disease, and can boost immunity. You'll also get about 10% of your daily folate, which aids in the creation of red blood cells and 5% of your potassium, which can help keep blood pressure in check. Oranges are also a good source of vitamin A, with 7% of what you need in a day. Vitamin A is vital for good eye health, and it helps many different organs function properly. By comparison, bananas do offer some vitamin A, but only about 2% of the daily requirement. So, now that we've unpacked the nutritional truth behind both bananas and oranges, it's time for the final showdown. In this matchup, who takes the crown? It's 
oranges. Oranges score a perfect 100 on the Nuval Nutritional Scoring System, which ranks foods from 1 to 100 based on nutritional factors such as nutrients, sugar amounts, and glycemic load. Dr. David Katz, director of the Yale University Prevention Research Center and one of the creators of this scoring system, said, If you consider the concentration of a wide array of nutrients relative to calories, the orange is the most nutritious followed by the apple, followed by bananas. Now, bananas aren't too far behind oranges with a score of 91. Still, oranges come out on top. While bananas and oranges carry a similar quantity of fiber, bananas will give you a much higher amount of sugar. In fact, a typical banana contains nearly double the amount of carbs as compared to a typical orange. This also applies to the calorie contents of these two fruits. That's right, a medium-sized banana has nearly double the calories of a medium-sized orange. And while both are micronutrient-dense, oranges handily win in this category as well. So, does that mean you should toss those bananas and stick to eating only oranges? Hold your horses, or rather, hold on to your banana. It's still a good idea to get a variety of fruits into your daily diet, so that you can consume a healthy variety of nutrients. However, according to recent statistics, most people eat bananas much more often than oranges, and it should probably be the other way around, especially for those worried about diabetes. By eating more oranges, you'll get more nutrients with less of a raise in blood sugars than you will with bananas. Again, you can still find positive nutrition within both oranges and bananas. But here's a tip. Enjoy your fruit with some amount of protein. This will help your body slow sugar absorption. For example, enjoy your banana with a tiny portion of organic peanut butter. Eat your orange with a small amount of unsweetened Greek yogurt. Why not try adding a small helping of fruit to your lunch salad? Or, instead of a high-sugar, low-fiber dessert, make a small banana or a small orange your next after-dinner delight. There are so many ways to enjoy both oranges and bananas as a healthy part of breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And of course, they can be excellent healthy snacking options as well. Well, that's the lowdown on oranges versus bananas. Before you go, don't forget to check the description below for your two free gifts. Also, we want to know, which fruits are your favorite, and why? Is there a specific fruit that aids you in blood sugar control? Let us know in the comments section below. Plus, please take just a sec to like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Diabetes Smarts for more tips and tricks on how best to battle diabetes. Until next time, have a happy and healthy day.